Hello and welcome to the season finale of season zero of the K5 Championship. We are here at Langley and of course in the late model as we have been all season. Just finishing up practice here. I found myself P8 uh, with a 16.3. Um, bit tricky to say what the pace necessary is going to be though because obviously so many people all stuffed on one track. So I'm um, going to have to give it my best. And, uh, well, what else am I going to do, right? So I, uh, I actually kept brake bikes up because it likes to get sideways on entry a little bit with the cold tires and everything. I think I'm going to like that and then put 10 to 1. So here we go. Probably going to be silent for a second while I really focus on getting this right. Go or go home. Let's uh, hopefully go get ourselves a nice run to the line as well green 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 okay here comes your first time black slow next there one more lap oh don't hit that wall Got tight, that's not good. The leader has just done 16.4. P4, not that was a 16.3. You better. I did not do better. Oh, 16.2 though. I'm happy with that. Did I not time best? I didn't even think I did very good that lap, and I think I got an all time best while I did that. Best, now is. <laughs> Off of my all-time best by point zero zero two. That's surprising, because I got tight off the exit on the first lap, so I thought I lost too much time, but hey, I will take that. Interesting. That might have gone even better if I didn't get tight. Wowzers. Okay, so we do have Kenny Humpy in here. I'm almost wondering if Nick was like, hey, you gotta show up and beat Mitch. <laughs> or maybe he just, uh, or maybe Kent, he, uh, couldn't make it the other weeks, but could this week. Either way, cool to have him in here. One of, uh, from what I understand, one of Nick's old friends. He's been in a couple of his videos as well, and he's very good, so. Uh, he is going to be up front, most likely, for the majority of this thing. I cannot believe I'm P4. That scares me. I'm so bad at short tracks, I almost don't want to be up here. But it will invert, so I will be P6 if I hold here. <laughs> Where did uh, Justin get? At the moment, let's see. I got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. He's twenty-second, so it looks like <clears throat> it's like we're good. I kind of noticed maybe a little fewer signed up this time. Yeah, P22 with only one with no lap. Yes! Alright, you made it in. <laughs> Alrighty. Oops, that was supposed to be to you. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even notice. I was trying to gather it up and sing a lot. That's the end of the session. P4. Whew. Gonna have to watch this video, see how the second lap went. But uh, we have made it. Justin has made it. Who else is here? Uh, Mitch, of course, all the way up there. I cannot believe I'm one spot behind Mitch. Good luck. Alright. So we got the... Heat race first, 
We've got uh, Shane in the 88 behind us, or I guess on our, uh, he'll be on our inside one row back. Dang, we're on the outside. <laughs> That's fine. Um, yeah, a lot of the same names up here. Brandon with a nice lap. Uh, Wesley. Uh, no, it's inverted. Gosh, that's so confusing. So the real pole setter is Tracy in the number three. He's going to be pretty good. Gavin just misses out on getting the uh, the pole, quote unquote, from the invert. Nick back in 16th next to James. Two, two fast minutes. guys in that row. Time to sort this out. Very interesting. Oh, and um, I believe, isn't this the Alan that was like winning the last race for a large portion of it until he got caught up in a wreck by the, you need to close the, gap to the guy ahead. people that were in the back or whatever? Sure, I think that's the same guy. So he could have some good speed. I'm going to go with the fact that my internet link goes, I lost my full screen in my monitor, and I might have been a little quicker if not. Oh. Uh. He misses it. It's like uh, Raymond is the first guy out. That stinks. We got the uh, heat race about to go on. Oh, I was looking at Mark's paint scheme <laughs> during the practice. I like his Nickelodeon paint scheme. Unfortunately, he didn't make the race. Just missed out. Um, I noticed Kyle's not here. That's too bad. Um, Storm Surge. But, uh, yeah, like I said, less people than usual. We've got 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 people in the, in the lobby, it looks like. So, I guess I could have just added this with that, whatever. Um, so that's interesting. Be ready. More chance for people to make their way in. Green, 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 green. Oh, gosh, I was like, I did not go at all in here. <laughs> interesting. Remember that crest to the rear, do not track, just get back. So can. That's right, okay. Talking about uh, on restarts, what lap cars need to do. So hopefully everyone's got that figured out. Heat race. Oh go to Nickelodeon, go! Go Mark! Okay, Colton, decent start. White flag! Oh, the 27 looks like he's trying to get in there though. Is he gonna get? He's gonna get him on exit. Oh, he comes up, taps him. They hold it together though for now. Can he get the run off the high side to keep P2? Don't hit the wall. Ooh, photo finish for second. That was pretty fun. Oof. Nelson, and then no grip for the tires up there. I don't think unless he's just playing around. Checkered flag, seventh position. <laughs> just zeroed in on the Nickelodeon guy for that race, but now we've got our feature coming up. Boy, I'm nervous. I really don't. I feel like I've been having stressful races the past two ones here. I mean, all short tracks are pretty stressful for me here, but honestly, I just want to have a quiet, solid-ish run. Oh, P7. How does that work? I thought I qualified fourth, and then I thought the invert would put me. No, I guess because okay, no. So I was ten. okay. Sweet inside. <laughs> That's so this all to say, yay! I'm on the inside. Okay. Take that. Alrighty. Everyone warming up just a little bit. I guess I could peek for a moment. I don't know if this is going to stay. But like I was saying, I just want to have a nice solid run this time and probably just chill out a little bit if I can. Who knows if that's even possible. But, but um, who knows if that's even possible, but I just... Uh, I'm gonna accept the fact I just don't know much about short track racing and just do my best. You know, if people are getting on my inside, they probably, as far as I know, they earned it. I don't think I fully understand how short tracking works or how to do the passes cleanly, so I am just gonna 
be conservative with my passing, probably just completely focus on passing only on exit if I can, not do any dive bombs. Good luck out there, guys. Yes. I'm not know if I've ever heard that call, but here we go. <sighs> P7. Let's do it. Langley. I like the environment around this track. I don't know, it just seems like really like a small town kind of feel looking around. I guess we've got some big buildings over there, but um, it makes me think about back when on my old computer, I couldn't have any surroundings. <laughs> my computer was so bad, I had to have all the graphics on complete minimum. And so I was just, any track I was at, I would be racing in the void because there'd be no crowd, no environment. It's nice <laughs> to actually yeah, see things. Luck. Yeah, good luck, everybody. Good luck. Good luck. Have some fun. There's no car change oh, in the way right. during the drive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good 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 luck. Luck. Seems like the right yeah, rear might be hard to pass tonight. The right rear might be on fire in this Look one, kind of like previous races. In this group, group. Maybe not as bad. It's going to be a lot louder than here, likely. If you get on that top, you're going to fall back. Like might be tricky because guys are might be want to sitting might want to try to pass the apron down there. there. Yeah, well, so go ahead, just pass. It's gonna be tough. Do we have any EOLs? I don't remember. It doesn't look like anyone got one. Go there, Shane. Like I said at last race too, but I better shape up or I'm gonna start getting EOLs. <laughs> yeah, good luck, guys. Is 32 going to get an official EOL? Oh, do we have one? Yeah, I'm supposed to. Nick must have forgot. Have it to No. Let me get up there. I'll just pull off, guys, and let you pass me. He must have just forgot. That's a cool move of James to remember that he's supposed to get one and pull off like that. Don't worry about it. Okay, car is ready. Be ready. Go. Green flag, green flag. Okay, don't run anybody over. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Stay low. We should be getting passes done just by being on the inside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Mm -mm -mm. Don't run them over. Ooh, a bit of a big break from the 94, maybe. Ooh, hold it steady. Yeah, we're getting held up a little bit. Let's see him pulling away ahead. Alan's probably being very careful because I remember he was very remorseful for his mistake last race. He's probably really worried about making another mistake. I've been there before. But maybe he's just doing the right thing and, uh, and uh, being smart with the tires. Maybe he's doing everything right and doing everything he needs to do. Who knows? But I'll be patient. We got a long race ahead, so no reason to get too aggressive. Oh, we've got a spin! Wesley just got taken out from the lead. Holy cow! And of course, it, it just said that he was P1. Sorry about that, Ryan. I had to check up pretty hard. Whew, okay, so we survived the first little stint. No worries, dude. I'm glad I stayed out of here. It's a little handful of laps. Okay, James officially giving the UL. Nick remembered. <laughs> no idea what happened up front. There's your UL. Yeah, I wish I would have given it to you at the beginning of the race. Nick just forgot, I'm sure. Yeah, He's got so much sure. stuff to juggle. I'm on the outside now because of that. Should be single file. It's great. Oh yeah, sorry. Get official in my head. I keep forgetting that too. 
Me too, I was sweating to start with it again. Yeah, I was just waiting to start playing for it again. I got our outside. Come on, man, it's like Man, it's hot in here. I should turn my air conditioning on. I think this decides what wants to go on when it wants to, though. So even if I turn it on, it's like, I don't feel like it. You're just going to burn today. <laughs> You're just going to read. It sure is. Single file start. Try not to let anyone take advantage of me down low. Yeah, I can almost see the leader in my mirror. About to go green. Very go short track here, Langley. And you want us to be patient in the back. That's really hard to do. Nice car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. You're in fear. Too interested in letting anyone on my inside if I can avoid it. Track there. I'm not putting my nose where it doesn't belong, though. Making sure I'm low on exit. Don't want to open any doors unnecessarily. I'm a little loose down there. I might have gone a little bit too low at that moment. Ooh, we got a pass. All right. It's following through. Use a little bit of the apron because you can do that here. Okay, feeling all right for now. I've been I watched uh, some of the laps from Faster Guys last race, and obviously it's a different track, but kind of just trying to take a look at what they were doing, I wasn't doing. It seems like they're better at maximizing the width of the track, and uh, just so good at putting their tires right where they need to be. Maybe using the apron a little bit to turn. So, I mean, that's basically the whole time I've been doing this. Oh no, Kenny just dropped out. Oh no, that's killer. I definitely figured he was going to be a top contender in this one. That really stinks. I wonder what place he was in. I know he uh, qualified ahead of me and then got the invert. Didn't he? I think he yeah, he qualified ahead of me. Um, but then behind me because of the invert. So I'm not sure where he was in the field, but probably only a couple spots behind, if I had to guess. That really stinks. Oh, we got some rear ending, maybe? Moody's uh, moving around a little bit. Have anyone get a nose on anyone? Shane's pretty close behind me there. Hopefully, I don't have to make up, make any sudden stops or anything. You could easily make the pass and probably be able to keep it. He's pretty fast. So far, so good. Don't mind being uh, in line here for a while. Just clicking some laps off. We'll take spots if the doors are open for us, but probably not going to uh, force anything. I'm never going to force anything, but <laughs> my point is uh, I'm not even going to try to set up passes or anything. I'm probably just going to let them come to us. I, uh, not so great at that whole passing thing on short tracks. Don't need to push the envelope with whole, all that nonsense. Uh, the car might be getting a little tight, maybe. Might just be I'm um, overdriving. That could be it. Just 
trying to be consistent at the moment. Sit there, but we're okay. Always sweaty racing at a short jump, though. No time to breathe. Though I probably should. Right, good for me to have oxygen in my lungs. Your last lap time and, you know, was hitting the brain. That's probably why I stink so bad at short tracks. I'm not breathing and my brain shuts down. But who knows? Maybe there's something to just giving, getting that primal rhythm in. <laughs> no thoughts, just muscle memory. Probably just have to balance that feeling. We've got uh, lap traffic coming up, it looks like. Can't see it on my relative yet, but I can see it with my eyeballs. Won't appear on a relative because I've got three people in front of me. That lap was at 16.6. Rip might be changing. The guys here. Looks like uh, things are getting a little unsettled, maybe, for some drivers. I feel it. I feel it getting tighter. Let me check up a little bit. Can't really do a lot, Cole. Yeah, I got you. Clicking off laps is fine with me right now. I'm just trying to save right now. He's like <laughs> Moody and I get uh, we end up in the same spot pretty often. I guess we have similar pace or something. Outside. Thank you, Ed. Outside, clear. Whew. One that's on the outside there. Am I falling off a little bit, or am I just not hitting my marks? Each old question. I wonder if I should be backing my brakes up. I think I just need to be uh, more patient getting on to throttle, maybe. I think I'm getting on it a little bit too early. That was a 16.7. Mm, yeah, it's definitely getting tight. <sighs> I gotta stay on top of it. Gotta make sure I'm hitting my marks. Find out the Ooh, open that door. Boss is trying to open that door. Looks like he maybe thought about getting the inside on him there. Cut on the gas a little early there, maybe. I wish I had a key bound to a uh, brake bias. So I think more uh, turn might be nice. Well, that was at 16.7. Shane's just been holding steady. Oh, check up. Might have gotten into the back of him a little bit there. I help ahead. I thought he was hitting me for a second behind there. He might be trying to set up to get the pass done on me. I'm not sure. You've just done a 16 oh, that got sideways for a second. Hold it together. Hold it together. I get dizzy. That short track long run. Feeling it yet? Been kind of dizzy. Hmm. Flag out here, Uh oh. We got a crash, or just someone pulling over? Just about to say we've got a real long run going here. Quite nice. Seems like someone maybe just going into the pits right there. Ooh. 
Ooh, roll over. Be ready, ready for checkup, Colton. Be ready for the checkup. All right. Ten four, I guess. What's that mean? Okay. Oh my God. Is this the checkup you're talking about? Yeah, they were uh, testing the integrity of their bumpers a little bit up there. That's what you might be able to call that. So I want to cool off my tires a little bit, but I don't want to get up into the thirty-lap run there. Gravel. Maybe get up here a little bit. I don't know. And I can do much. There's some marbles down here. Last doors. Looks pretty clear actually right now. Maybe we can come down here. I don't know. It looks fine from here. Right? If you pull up next to me, I'll take another look on my left here. I'm just doing what I see other people do. I know that these are things that are supposed to be able to help. You know, cooler part of the track. Oh, yeah, right front, crank, right front fender's crinkled up a little bit. Not bad. Go. Got to get ready, though, because okay, we are yeah, already about to go again. Here to the these patented Nick Nieben shoulder yeah, cautions. How bad it was crinkled. <laughs> V4 yeah, though, okay, so far so good. Haven't gotten wrecked into the pits yet. I lose all two prior to that in here on Titus. About to go green, stay focused. Yeah, I'm the same. The pace car is off, be ready. Green, green, green. Gotta run on them, I don't, I don't like taking stuff on restarts though. I don't like that feeling. feels wrong to me to try to pass someone on a restart. Not that it is, it just doesn't, it feels like I'm doing something too aggressive. I don't know. The lap time was 16.8. Let me get back into it. There, maybe. Well, he's using some apron. Always makes me nervous when he's doing that. It looks like he's gonna wash up and hit the ball, but he's got it under control. Yeah, lap times are improving. Lap times are improving. Really? I don't feel like they are. Compared to what? Because tires definitely don't feel like they're improving. You know what I should have done during that caution is change my brake bias. Should have thought about that. I don't want to do too big of a change. Just a tiny bit. Uh oh, tapped. Uh, just a tiny bit. I need to get some extra turn in it. Oh, got tight on exit. Good thing yeah, I had a little bit of room. Or else that might have been enough to get on my run. Oh, I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. Oh All right, that was scary. All right, Colton. The next car is Moody. I just have to drive like normal. I don't know. It's, I, I, there's nothing I can do. I'll get past if I start checking out. No idea where he is. I'm assuming everybody else sees this too, so hopefully they know I uh, might need to be a little careful here for a minute. It's terrifying. The lap time was at 16.7. I don't even want Tom really to tell him I, I got really focused. And what is he gonna do anyway? He's not gonna pull off. Don't expect him to. Oh boy. 
As if this weren't scary enough already. I can't tell if he's hitting the wall or not. I have to assume he's not, so that way I'll right check out when yeah, I don't need to. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed right now. It looks like watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! car is out. Line up single file behind car. Seven, car. 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 Four. We're under caution. Pits are closed. That's a thing that happened. Jesus. I'm trying, 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 I'm trying
pushing harder because I don't want them to pass me. Big checkup, they didn't expect that. Getting tapped. You've just done a 16 point tight. Oh, boy. Not even halfway. That mark was at 16.7. Checked up pretty hard here. Car in guard, clear. His nose on me there for a second. Slow guard, download. Bumped. Oh boy, handling's getting a little weird again. He's all over me. Still in front of Mitch. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number 84. Alright, that was intense. Trying to hold on to this thing. I'm trying so hard to keep Mitch back there. Really focusing on getting the run on exit, so. Man, Brandon, I'm sorry. I, I did not expect that checkup to happen again. Ugh, he's talking about checkups, I don't know. Um. I can't even think right now. I'm sweating so hard. <laughs> Doesn't help that it's hot in here, but this is intense racing too. So we're finally over halfway. Oh. Nice to have this breather. Oh. I'm thinking about it. There we go. A little bit more break. That might be key. One to go. Nick okay, time by. Get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Mitch, holding back. I'm looking at him. Get ready. Going you know green. he really wants to buy me. It's small. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, 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 green. green. You're now in third. Spots. Still inside. It's coming, so. What am I supposed to do here? About cut me off Still there, Isaac like Evan. What am I supposed to do? Go straight to the back? This sucks. I hate you, short, short track racing. I really hate you. This is awful. 
It's been the whole dang race up there. Now we'll, I can't do anything. Spot. God. Like, what am I supposed to do? Nothing. There's nothing you can do. Oh, all right. Gather it up together. Gather it up. Some racing. Got by me cleanly, well I sure did. He's good. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, so we're still ninth. It's not the worst. A bit of a checkup ahead, it looks like. Well, Let me get on the brakes so we can get this thing turning. God, that's so killer, though. I was in third. You get it on the outside for one, one time. Do six spots. Let me run the high line, darn it. That's what I enjoy. Going on a mile and a half to do in the high line. Oh. Seen people on the apron potentially. Gotta go. Couldn't check up too much there. I thought, I figured that might not bring out a caution. Not sure what happened there. I didn't quite see. I think maybe James got in the back of him. I'm not sure. Sorry if I'm falsely accusing. I didn't see. Let me just stick to say that definitively. I did not see. You've used half your fuel. Brake bias, I think, is really helping. Eighth now. That lap was at sixteen point six. Got some space behind us. I didn't even notice that. Maybe I should be using that to my advantage. Being a little easier on the tires for a minute. That lap was at really use it to put the brake bias plus. back further if I can. This track you're turning basically the whole lap, so. Oh, it's already far, as far back as it goes. Man, you don't really have much uh, leeway. Brake bias, do you? That's right. You've just done a 16.6. Use the apron a little bit to turn. Trying to make sure I'm using the width of the whole track. Kind of just have to hope for a mistake to try to make a pass. That was at 16.7. Very interesting how much space we got behind. Ooh, Gavin a little sideways. Is he having right rear troubles again? Might see some more sideways out of him before this thing's over. Might see it out of me too, but maybe out of him as well. Oh, he's leaving the bottom open a little bit. He's having some handling issues potentially. That might be enough for James to get in on him. I think he had to check up there. Back bump. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, Reed. Decided it was not going to grip that time. All right. Put that in the knowledge banks. Let that accrue some interest. 
<laughs> what are they talking about? Uh, all right, so keep an eye ahead. Kind of had an off lap or two. Lost a little bit of space. Fine. Just kind of gathering it up after uh, that little scare I had. Definitely not gripping as much though. Mitch still in third. You know he wants to sweep the league and win every race. And you know everyone else wants to prevent him from doing it. That was a uh, 16.2. Kevin's trying hard for the pass on Nick. Is he going to wreck him? Friendship going to be over? All good, buddy. All good. <laughs> Ugh, that was a clunky corner. Need to be a little smoother, maybe. I need to spend some more time lightly on the throttle instead of uh, just You're holding your light line switching can't, it. Can't, can't get by you. Yeah, it's I got some movement up there, not sure what's going on. Gathering it together, though. Still holding about 0.8 behind us. Ooh, big door right there. Not sure what happened. Weird checkup or something. There's a wall there. The gap behind has now decreased to 0.6. Oops. Do that anymore. Stop that. Never again. Now that I know how it feels, I know not to do it, right? Yeah, well, just a learning experience. Gotta find the edge before you can walk along it. <laughs> or you can just blindly stumble off the cliff. I've done that before, too. Not literally, but, you know, all within the sense of the figurative speech. I think I might be falling off, probably, because... I stamped the wall with my car. Thinking about driving. There, try something new. Be bold enough to try it. See if we lose time or not, but Yeah, I'm not sure if it's working or not. Hard to tell. Caution. Dog on straight, that was good racing there, buddy. Woo. It's closed. Race cars out, line up single file behind car number 39. So it's starting to get a little loose. I'm going to put this back. I don't know. It's a Thank you for not right now. I mean, sure. Oh, I'll give my hands a rest. Yeah, I know where to really go. Had that big sideways moment there. I don't know how I didn't wreck it. Same thing. Right. Tracy, making that three cars as wide as possible. Yep. That's what you gotta do. Make sure I'm in the right gear. Sorry, Gavin, I was just looking at your hood. I didn't realize you had that much damage. Okay, hello. Yeah, it's not a good idea to just drive under the wall a bunch of times. You do that about every race, don't you, Gavin? Yep. <laughs> one to go, Nick's gone by. Race cars in this Every time I watch your videos, you always at least run into the wall one. Yeah, I'm just narrow on the nose, so it's a little bit more aerodynamic. Yeah, yeah, make sure it don't have a lot of drag on it. Get ready. Yeah, Going I tried ready. that. It didn't work out too well for me, though. A whole wall hit thing. 
Flight carries off and halfway point should be about 17. Green flag, green flag. Green flag. What is happening up there? The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed. Pace cars out. Slow down. I don't know if we're going to be coming up on the north. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Mitch got around him. Mitch got around him for a second, looks like. Pit road's open. Don't let Mitch win, darn it. He can't sweep it. It's not allowed. I mean, obviously it is. If he earns it, he earns it, but... <laughs> Making the field look silly if he wins every race. Hopefully we'll get a green run to the end here. Definitely trying to start off, you know, not flush with the high side. Not because I'm trying to make a pass, but just because I'm defending. Like, I don't want someone else to try to get a pass on me that way. I don't trust myself enough to try to do that kind of aggressive move on a restart. I'm not really too interested in getting put on the outside and losing six spots again either. It is a fine line between 8th, 14th, or worse. About so. to go green, stay focused. See, can't see. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, 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 green. green. It's not there, I had to drive in hard to prevent him from being there though. He looked like he wanted to go on the apron at me. Broken hard to prevent it. I cannot get stuck on the outside. Cannot let that happen. Ooh, is that Nick up there getting a little bit sideways on entry? I think I saw that. Oh, he's getting real sideways. His tires are gone. I think. His rear tire's gone. Gavin's probably gonna find a way around him. Who's below him? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't talk anymore. I would be a great announcer. Most important moments, I strip babble and baby talk. Looks like things might have gotten gathered together. You know Gavin doesn't want to wreck Nick. And either way, it looks like Nick's doing a great job of handling that thing, despite what we have seen it's capable of. Does he have the nose on him here, though? No. Not quite. Nick fighting hard. You know, he doesn't want to get stuck on the outside, either. You know that for a fact. Nobody does. That lap time was 16.5. Got a little bit of space behind, not much. But enough where... Oh, shoot. Your last lap time was at 16.6. .6. Not alongside. But, he Power leaves the door open. Line. There, oh my god, was that a learning moment? I do believe that was a learning moment. Let me not move still. I've got time to run it. Oh, okay, so I wasn't alongside him. At first, but instead of jumping it in, assuming he was going to leave the space, I was patient. I was patient, and he gave me the room in the next corner, and we were able to get the pass done with no contact. Oh, I love moments like that. I feel like I've really learned something like and right. grown. That's fantastic. Okay, sorry. Sounds like a freaking teacher or something. 
I was almost an English teacher once, but I didn't work out. I don't like people, but... <laughs> Alright, I am very happy with how that went. So we are seventh. Coming up on a Gavin that looks like he might have some right rear issues, I say. Sliding! Okay, it went away. Holy cow, that just wouldn't stop sliding. Alright, don't point out Gavin's slidiness, I guess, unless I want to earn some myself. Tell you what, though, that slide was not good. Proving the tires, because they are just going to get worse the more I do that, so I am going to try to be more steady. Steady does it. Enter a little high there, Gavin goes a little high. I'm gonna run off though. Your last lap time was at 16. I'm hitting the brakes enough. Keep it together. There's not much time left. I need to be throwing it away here. Hit myself on the outside. Sorry, I didn't mean to just slide and turn you. I wonder how Justin's doing. I have not had time to like check on how anyone's doing this whole race. Just because, like I said earlier, you're always turning at this track. Like, You don't have a moment, please. I do have a little bit of space. Let me try something. Great job. Good to go. Our lap time was 16.7. Is that worth anything at all? Not really. That lap was at 16.7. Stay, Bruno. That did not work. Okay, bad. Don't do that. I'm willing to be the person trying to just try something new, if it can get me time. I know it's late in the race, but I you know it's so scary to try something new. But if I do find something new, it can make a big difference, so... Not quite there, though. I don't feel good. We had the space to try it, so I tried it. The yellow flag is out. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed right now. To caution. It's closed. Ah, oh, that's really open. That would go to the end. Single file behind car 77. Pit road open. Pits are open. Whew. I'm only going to have a couple laps here. That's pretty fun racing there, James. It is pretty fun. Yeah. I will say that. Seventh place. How are the tires going to feel? Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Riker's crying. That reminds me. No. This one. All the way up, please. Mine is too, Wesley. So hopefully this will give us a little bit of grip back. I'm hoping it will. Why Letting the tires pull down, down for a moment. Time. <laughs> We've got other people warming their tires up. I'm trying to cool them down. Alright. Hopefully the last restart. Get ready, going green. Gotta hold the back right now. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green. Inside, clear inside. No. no. Keep high, clear inside. Keep high. This can't happen. Still there, inside. Still there, inside. There, no! Three wide! What am I seeing up there? Let's go. 
Go low. Car inside. Pull the yellow flag is out. Line up. Single file. Closed. Pit road is closed. Oh. How much do they hold on to? 73. Car. Pass up. 79. Car. Looks like we'll have a green white checkered finish when this caution is over. Yeah. Killed your bank over there. No idea what just happened. There's so much to focus on. Where am I? I'm just surprised Seven. we both made it out of there alive. After all of that, I'm in the same spot. <laughs> it roads open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Sorry to pinch you a little bit there, Kyle. I was desperately trying everything I could not to fall a hundred spots back. No, you're good. I thought that was fair thing or anything. I, I definitely knew what you were doing. <laughs> Wesley, I don't know what that was, but Hank, you're burning me. Alright, so. I figure that yeah, was a nice room at least. You got so. loose going into that corner, or you hit the wall and you cut out in front of me. I ran in the back of you because you cut down because you're slow. And then you were wide, and then I was underneath you, then Nick made it three wide. What an ordeal. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know Nick was below you. It's all good. Nick's in third. He moved forward. I didn't think I did anything different off of Thune, and I did kill for right rear wall. This car, for whatever reason, in the last, like, 20 laps, has been shoving out of the exit of the turn. <sighs> All right. Yeah, it's not the intentional man is race to do, I guess. You might check her. I didn't think Nick would make three wide like that. I mean, normally you more patient than that. Green, green, green. Okay, we got space. You just got the white flag. White flag, so no more cautions. Let's pull it in here, come on. The next car is Baker. Mitch didn't win, and we get seventh. Oh right, my god. B7. Okay. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes. <laughs> that was a good race. <laughs> good race, guys. I didn't good cause race. a mess. I don't think. I think yeah, it did good. Oh, that's all I wanted. It went crazy. Wanted... That was fun racing when you and me there. Oh, I just wanted a solid finish and not be controversial. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I will 100% take that. Seventh place, right where I started. Hey, man. It was my fault. My fault, guys. Okay, race well. Good luck, Chase. Oh, I don't even know what to say. Head on. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna put it into one. Put it in. It's 57, it's 46, of course, I burnt the right here. Okay, 57, 46, I didn't get that right, right? Yeah, okay. How are we compared to other people? Worse. Worse. Oh my god, 61, 64, nice. No wonder he got the win. Uh, 51, wow, that's good too. 57, wins. Interesting, it's very interesting how some people burned off the right front and some the right rear. Three. Sorry, I'm just really interested. It seems like the tires really varied out here. 55, 56, 66, 48, 64, 50. I definitely ripped them off, but what's new? 
And I uh, still held on to it enough at least to be able to pull it in at the end there. I think some cautions might have helped out so I could cool the tires down. Oh boy, that was fun though. As scary as that was, that was a lot of fun and gosh, more than anything, I'm just glad I didn't get into any messes. That's all I ever really wanted. Got a forex at one point. I don't think I even remember when that was. But I will take it. Um, Justin? Looking at that replay, it was a little like just when my camera forward. went down, which I didn't mean to do that. I was clear. Oh, you hit me, then you went wide, and then and what? Nick just put you on that the stinks. straightaway. It was cool to see him here. It stinks that you lost connection. Would have been uh, really interesting yeah, to see I where he was able to mix it in. Shane got in a wreck. He I was mean, supposed to meet points. It's really going to be interesting like, to see how I mean, a lot of points finish out. Almost, and the car still hit the wall. Like, eight. Moody after that wreck. All the way in 18th. That stinks. That was a nice I didn't see Logan much this race. He's really pretty fast, but he ended up back in the back there. Seventh place. I can't believe seventh place. Take it every day. I will take that every yeah. time. He hooked me in the left rear and then now the top the five. Mitch finished at that point. second. No sweep. I'm sorry. It's a root against him so much. He's a great racer. And when he passed me, when he passed me, he passed me clean. Even though I was much slower than him, he did a fantastic job of getting the pass done cleanly, showing he knows what he's doing. Um, so I'm sorry to root against him. It's not, it's just because. You know, we don't want to see one guy win every race, so congrats well, to that's Tracy. Lovely. That's pretty awesome. So let's get to the incidents. It's all good, man. Keep the crowd wait. I've kept the crowd yeah, waiting too long. Racing. I mean, I was up there with Tracy, and I was, I was beating the bumper off of him, and he was making so, that three cars as wide as he could. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's nothing. I'm going to go a little fast. I've been taking too long in these incidents. There's just too many. Uh, <laughs> too many wall hits. Short track racing. Nick has to check up a little bit there. Everything's good. There's uh, a little bit of bumper. Moody back there. D dense Allen's rear bumper. Oh. Oh. What happened here? I think three entered a little high. Yeah, that's a little bit high to be entering on the strike, maybe. Actually, you know what? Don't listen to me at all. I do not know what I'm doing out here, so don't listen to me at all. I am just interpreting this how I'm seeing it, and it looks like three might not be turning in as much. Maybe he was trying to, um, I guess, what would be the word, like, I don't know, keep him, I just guess just keep him wider on entry so he can get the pass done, but maybe Wesley wasn't expecting it, I don't know. But looked like he didn't turn in quite enough in time, because I think you do want to get down to the apron when you pass here, but like I said, very, very much not an expert. Don't listen to me. That's just how I'm seeing it, and I'm sure I'll watch videos from guys like Nick who know short track or it's racing much better, and I'll probably learn the truth. Like, who would really be more to blame for that one? That's why his videos are so helpful to me, because that's how I learn so much of what I learn, is by uh, hearing what he has to say and stuff. So, right. Derek making a habit of tapping that wall. <laughs> too much going on for now. Even wall hits. Yeah, Zach had that scary moment. I think he had really uh, hot tires. I think when he was trying to get it going, he uh, lost traction. It's an understandable mistake to make. Wesley for sure getting an EOL next race. Yeah, I guess I assume EOLs transfer seasons, or else there wouldn't be any penalties for making mistakes in season finales where probably want least guys to be making mistakes. Haven't seen what Wesley might be talking about yet. That was just a blinky dude. Mitch into the wall a tiny bit. 
I fought him hard. I hope he's not too mad at me. I was definitely making it hard on him, but... Once he got the, uh... I made him do it on exit, and he did it, so... Very close racing. Ooh, how'd we get in that situation? Looks like he was... Oh, he's just really low on exit, and then it looks like he's driving straight. <laughs> well, I guess you're supposed to drive straight down straight away, but, you know, toward the wall, straight toward the wall. Maybe he just got a little uh, out of place. Oh, this might be the EOL he's talking about. Yep, that's like whenever I... Uh, got into who's what's it last race I should remember who I take out that's really bad that's really bad <laughs> I need to remember who I run into it wasn't Shane Shane was the other incident wasn't it yeah it's not bad that I have multiple incidents either oh my god I'm so sorry I don't remember who I hit oh it was Spencer that's right okay I'm sorry for forgetting for a second um, I definitely haven't forgotten about the incident. I take all things I get into very seriously. Just my brain's still fried from the race, so it looked like all I was saying is that incident looked a lot like whenever I got into him. So, oh, speaking of, here he is, just tapping the wall just a tiny bit, and that's nothing. Oh yeah, here's where he's starting to blink a lot. And it was really looking like he was like hitting the wall and stuff. Like right here probably looked like he hit the wall and I had no idea where he was for just very crucial moments. Like a trek's like this, like you need to know every second, every millisecond where everybody is. Things can change so quickly. Like if he drags the wall, you have to be able to react quickly and it's hard to do. So that's why that was kind of messing with me. Appreciate the patience of the guys behind me and so keep moving. We got problems here, but we might the side by side. Oh, smoothie blinking. Okay, okay, this is uh this must have been the accident. Looks like maybe the right rear starting to get a little hot later in a run comes up and nearly takes out the 29 but i see 92 he hit the brakes hard and that's what turned him around so he sacrificed himself not to uh ooh, he sacrificed himself not to get into him so i see what he did there i don't know he's probably not gonna watch this but uh, it was cool of him not to run into the back of the other guy after he Kind of drove in a little too hard, and then here he's just hitting the gas because he wants to get going, and the tires are so hot. Thankfully, I think everybody avoided any uh, damage. I had to be really careful because I had to dodge it, but I also didn't want to hit this cone because if you get this cone, you get a black flag. I had to thread the needle. Oh, I did hit the cone, and it didn't give it to me. We're going to call that net code, net cone, because <laughs> I didn't actually hit it. I didn't go in that ditch, but then Moogie's blinking out again, but whew. thankfully didn't get any black flags because you never know if Nick's going to even notice if anybody uh, got a black flag, so I can't risk getting one. I might have to serve it even if it's unjust. Restarts look like they got pretty weird in the back. Um, how did Mitch get to the inside here? Oh, it's on the restart. Okay, yeah, that's what I was really trying to prevent. Is this exact thing right here. People getting on the inside on a restart. And then I saw him behind me and... I tried my darndest to hold him off for a long time. Like I said, I hope he's not mad. I just really wanted to hold him up. And who knows, maybe hold him up for so long prevent him from winning. <laughs> Let me not take the credit. Tracy, Tracy definitely earned that win. 
You saw his tires. He had this. He had a great feel for the car. So, let me not take anything away from that. From such a good drive. But we're keeping it moving here. I think Justin might have had trouble at some point. I think I saw his name at one point, maybe. I don't know. Looking to see if he had trouble. I hope not. I hope I'm wrong. There's a little bit of a bump there. Moody does eventually take him out, I think. Man, that was just nose to tail out there. So. Yeah, sure was. Sure was. Here, this is Mitch getting into my bumper just a tiny bit, maybe? Oh, no, it's when he gets into me after that wreck. So this is when Moody took him out in front of us. He said there was a checkup. I guess there was a little bit of checkup. A little bit slower out of the corner, and then I just couldn't react in time. <laughs> hey, Karen, go ahead. How do I fit this in? <laughs> uh, how do I fit it? Overdo it. Yeah, part of the deal ago, I didn't do it. <laughs> And Brandon just had a great battle. Uh, yeah, I know I, uh, know I defended hard, so now you're good. You have to defend here. He starts to help me big time. <laughs> I had everything. I, you have to do anything to not get stuck in the middle. You know? So. We're standing. Ah. <sighs> Okay, he gets it. He knows how short track racing works, and thankfully it sounds like I didn't overdo it because the worst track trying to go three wide. Oh, did he? I didn't know. I saw the three wide, I didn't know. You have to be able to hook the turtle boot. Yes, that's true. That is true. Lots of people using that. So, this is what that was a takeout, and then. Mitch, I think we were able to keep um, behind us. The caution came out in time. Mitch really tried to um, get past us there. But uh, he had to do it later. And that he did. Remember, it will be a whole different deal with pit stops and double fire. Double file. Oh, double file restarts. All right. Nice. Exicted. What the heck does that mean? They know what I mean. <laughs> Excited for strategy. All right. So, back to incidents. Sorry for the delay. Always going to have some chatter, some chat afterward.
Next week off, start at the end of week 13. All right, you heard it here first. One week off and then the start of the next season with Arca. Very excited for that. Not only because it's, oh, Lordy. Shane got torpedoed there. Oh, it's because he got the wall. I see. Okay, I remember that now. I didn't see exactly what happened. But uh, he got in the wall hard and then took his normal line and was much off the pace. So that's how that ended up happening. And I knew I had to keep going because it looked like he was going to save it and he did. It was a fantastic save. You know he's got his wheel like 360 degrees to the right. Yes, the next season's going to be much longer too because this was of course supposed to be just a test season to see if uh, we'd go for longer. I will post uh, put up my uh, final the final standings. Obviously, Mitch is going to be the winner, but put up the final standings up uh, here in a minute, um, and I'll even put a chapter for it too. And uh, we'll see where we finished up. Championship Sunday for this one. This racing is more important to me than the real-life cup car racing, because I'm involved with this one. <laughs> I am egotistical. I want to pay attention to what I'm in. Now, there's me sliding. Great for the tires, I'm sure. Ooh. There's me absolutely taking out the wall. I took that last corner real weird. I don't know what I did. Okay, I need to get this uploaded. Thanks for racing. Alright. See you, Nick. Some blinkadoos. Oh, we got a end of the back of the 20. Was, uh... Was he a lap down? No, he wasn't. Okay. For some reason, I thought he was, but no, he just kind of got into the back of him there. Yeah. I can't criticize anyone for any mistakes ever again because I was a menace for half of the races this season, so. It's easy to do. You just enter in at different speeds. Gonna get some. Yes. Yeah, check up on the restart. I think I checked up a little bit too. I hope I didn't cause that chain reaction. I was just trying to be, make sure I was real close. Like, I don't know what... Kyle's warming his tires a nanosecond before the start. And then he catches up to him, and then it's... I don't think it's anybody's fault. Ryan catches back up. Ooh. Yeah, there's where the biggest spot almost happened there. That kind of sets it off, but... Looks like no one got it too bad. Whoa, driving in hard! Oh, and he overcorrects. Dang. I thought he was going to hold on to that for a second, but that's an unfortunate end to his race. He was doing all right in 14th. Man, you hate it for Allen. He was in position to win last week. Now here in 13th. He had a, he was starting pretty well, I think. He started third, yeah. I wonder if... I doubt it, but maybe that rear end damage changed his handling or something. I have no idea. Or maybe, like I was saying earlier in the race, he was just being extra careful this week. Maybe had the same goal as me. Main goal as me, just trying not to be a part of anything. Any big accidents and all that. So Mitch was there for a good 20 laps in second, trying to get past the number three of Tracy, but never could do it. So Tracy did a fantastic job and earned this win. Some baby taps to the wall. I think, I'm thinking I might have been wrong about Justin. I think he never got any wrecks. For some reason, I thought I saw his name or something at some point as part of the wreck, but I am making it up, I guess. Ooh, what's going on here? Maybe this is what... You know, I, I think this might have been what it is. I remembered him saying something on radio, and this must have been what he was talking about. 
Oh, yeah, he just was up the track a little bit with the lap car there. No, not a lap car. Oh, and then uh, it looks like Justin was reacting to the guy spinning. The other guy didn't maybe didn't see it or something. Maybe he felt bad about getting into him and let off the gas. Could have been a number of things. I'll find out when I watch it. So here's me trying the new line. It almost seemed like it kind of worked a little bit um, at times, but it was very hard to get down correctly. And can't experiment too much or this guy is going to catch me. So uh, I wanted to try it, see if it had anything, but it didn't really. Sometimes you got to be the brave one willing to try something a little bit different and it might be able to get you somewhere. Obviously something like, you no, know, yeah, I'm going to go run the outside line. Like, that's not going to work, but I know you can use the apron up here. So I was like, you know, maybe, just maybe I might have something, but. Oh, and that's net code. That wasn't anybody's fault right there. It looks like 38 coming in there. He got a better angle on entry. I think Justin was gonna let him by. Looked like he purposely went up the track to let him by, and then that's just 100% that code. That was no one's fault. I mean, maybe he can be closer to the wall, but he gave enough room, I would think. And at the end of the day, look, they're not touching, and it definitely shouldn't have hit that hard, so. Ooh, and then the 20 gets in it. Oh no, I think Justin blamed himself too and stopped his car. If you're watching Justin, I don't think that was you, I think that was Netcode. I don't even think you were that far off the wall if you were thinking about that. Looked like he, he, he was letting him by. And uh, Netcode just made it bad, so... Hope he doesn't feel too bad about that one, it was uh... Just some Netcode. He finished about the same spot anyway, it looks like. Because it was so close to the end of the race. And uh, no one else back there fighting. So the two got some pretty heavy damage on the right front, I think. Looks like I could be closer in the restarts. I felt like I was pretty close already, but it looks like I could go even a little bit more. There I had to drive in hard or else I was going <laughs> to... I want to I want to watch this whole thing actually. So looks like five gets a better jump than I did, and he wasn't there, but I knew he was gonna make it there. So I knew I had to drive in hard, but I also couldn't hit Gavin. So <laughs> it was desperately, desperately trying to stay up there, and I'm like, I have to, I have to pinch a little bit. Yeah, I might have overdone it a little bit right there. Yeah, that might be a little too much. Sorry. I just, I could not, I was not going to let myself lose 10 spots with, what, 6 laps to go? Like, I couldn't do that. I could not let that happen. So, thankfully we got the caution, or else that's exactly what was going to happen to me. So I fought as hard as I could, and uh, whatever is going on up there happened. So let's take a look at that next. In a way, it saved me. As bad as that is. Don't want to see a wreck at all. Oh my gosh, please. So let's start with the three wide move. Nick would call Nick an idiot, I think. <laughs> no. No, he, he had a lane. He made it there, and then, oh boy. That wasn't like an aggressive three wide, I don't think. That was just late race. You do what you have to do. Uh, it's it's got to be hard to know where you have to be on track three wide here, because you probably don't get three wide very often. So it looks like there's just three wide being three wide, and it sets that off in motion. <laughs> and Moody gets taken out, uh, essentially by Nick. I guess, like I said, I don't think it's anyone's... I, that's hard racing at the end there. That stuff's going to happen. And no, I'm not just saying it because it's Nick. I'm saying it because, I mean, look at what happens here. We, uh, so it starts with Wallace in the wall. That's the inciting incident. Wesley has to check up. That causes him to get all unsettled, both of them. And then, you know, 
what's Nick seeing here? He's seeing room. That's what he's seeing. And if you've got room, only a couple laps to go. You know, of course he's gonna go for it, so. That's how that ended up happening. Really only Moody got the worst of it, because he gets sent all the way to the back. And uh, we get to go buy a couple guys. Um, it saved my butt, because <laughs> I was going to get freight train for sure. Going to have the fast lanes in the rear. So Kyle got past us. Brandon did not. Mitch going in on the final lap. He's wanting the sweep. But not gonna happen. Oh, did he go for a tap right there? At the very end? Oh, he absolutely gassed it up and tried to get a tap on him. I saw that. Oh, you tried to get him. I saw it. Maybe not. Maybe uh, actually listening to the... No, you know what? I take it back. I think that was Tracy just parking it. Making sure that uh, he wasn't going to get the inside on him. Yeah, that's all that was. Nick almost gets around him at the end because of it, but not quite. And that'll do it. So, I'm sure all this is just going to be guys running into each other after the finish, because everyone's kind of scattered. Yeah. <laughs> it's letting off after the race. Kevin, uh, climbing the hill. <laughs> and, uh, into the wall. So that'll do it. Alright, we get ourselves a P7. And, uh, I don't think I have my OBS set up properly to like start showing things. I'm afraid it would break the recording, but I will do what I can to put up the results right here. And, uh, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording, come back, and then have the graphic on screen for you. All right, and hopefully this is looking all right, but this is your final standings. These are your final standings, I guess would be proper English. Uh, Mitch with the win, of course, with his 87 total points. And we've got Wesley second and Nick in third with Tracy's win. He will earn himself a fourth place. Gavin in fifth. I found myself in seventh position. So much better than I ever could have hoped on short tracks. Uh, it helps, of course, that I was just able to make every race. That's a big part of it. Um, Anytime you've got a point system like this, you know, just getting those solid, uh, consistent finishes. It's not too bad. Like, you've got guys like Andrew, who, uh, I'm, I don't know if he didn't make it one of the weeks, one of the weekends, but probably if he were here every time getting average finishes of fourth, he probably would have been up here. But having made every race, get myself a seventh with 36 points, which is kind of funny. That's my car number. <laughs> so I'll give it a quick scroll here. Uh, of course, got lots of people, and uh, just so you know, this is a uh, average start, average finish, and then here are your total points right there. So, um, far right number is one that matters in terms of points, and uh, lots of people were able to join in. Justin was able to join for a couple of weeks. He got himself seven points for a tied 30th. And lots of recognizable names. Kenny, of course, only able to join that last one. And a lot of guys that were uh, only able to show up maybe for one week or uh, only able to make the show one time or two. But that'll do it. There is your standings. Season zero completed. We are looking forward to season one now. I hope you enjoyed watching, and thanks for joining me. Have a good one.